Well, we're joined uh, first and foremost by Colette Odenigo, who is a member of the PDP National Publicity Team. He joins us from Abuja to give his perspective on this matter. Morning and thank you for joining us today. Well, I do know uh, some of your party members have got issues about the names that have popped up today. And has that issue changed from uh, the time it took and the persons there to or do you have any reservations about their capacity to deliver? Uh, good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> uh, thank, thank you for that uh, question. I, I have uh, both uh, issues with the timing and the capacity of the nominees of uh, Mr. President. Uh, you know, when you have gotten the people's mandate to be the president of this country. You don't have the privilege or the luxury of time to run the people's business as your business. I'm sure you know that in between these delays, there have been several constitutional violations where the country's business is being carried along without the required constitutional requirements. And having taken all this length of time for the administration to present us with lists of these people that we all know, lists of people that have questions hanging around them, lists of people whose DNA, political DNAs are all over the country. I think uh, to say that the Nigerian people are being taken for a ride would be an understatement. You know, uh, as a young and upcoming Nigerian, I, it would have been good for the president to give us a list of Nigerians that would have given us a food for thought. Maybe for us to research about the backgrounds or the capacities of these people. But to come up with the list that everybody already knows, and we know their capacity, we know their tendencies, we know their antecedents, after all these months, is nothing but taking Nigerians for granted. All right, let, let me ask you, I mean, I haven't seen those names. Uh, speaking about their capacity now, is there anyone there who you think will not be able to perform the functions that they will be assigned? Well, uh, in my own opinion, I, I probably will pick out maybe two or, two or three persons on that list that I would say that have both the capacity, the integrity, and the antecedents speaks for itself. But other than that, it's just a recycling of the same old folks. Uh, and it doesn't give hope for the young and upcoming Nigerians that at some point that they are going to be part of the administration of this country. Well, okay. you, you know, the, the, the worry here is that uh, who hasn't done it? Who hasn't been recycling? Uh, looking at uh, the antecedent of your political party, the PDP, till this moment, it would seem as if uh, it's the in thing for the political class. Well, 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 uh, Chamberlain, you don't run a government by who has not done it. Uh, you don't run a government by who has not done it. The president came on board on the mantra of change. And to continue, even though to continue his administration with the business as usual, I don't think that that was the basis for which the Nigerian citizens gave him a mandate of change. And just for the fact that something has been done in the past, the essence of growing democracy is that we continue to refine the process by which we do uh, the people's business. So if there's anything that the past administration did wrong or has done wrong, the essence, the optimism of Nigerians is to look forward to a new way of doing business so that they can say, okay, yes, that this change is coming finally. But when you look at that list and then you look at what is going on, it doesn't show any seriousness uh, in the claims of fighting corruption. It, it just doesn't. And for the young Nigerians, I don't think it, it sets a good uh, precedent for the young Nigerians who went out in droves claiming that they won't change in this country. So the old way of doing business or who has not done it is not the right way of doing things just because somebody did it right, did it wrong in the past. You know, but, but you have many who will tell you that doesn't come into question as of yet because at the end of the day, it boils down to results. And they say, look, they haven't even started doing anything yet. So shouldn't we wait until you see 
the kinds of performance that they're putting in? Yeah, but uh, like I told you, the political DNAs of uh, most of these people are all over the country. Uh, Chamberlain, what is wrong with you being a minister? Uh, that will give young right. Nigerians to go back and Google your name, research about your background, look at your professional background, and so uh, are other, uh, other folks. So for, some, for instance, look at uh, Kachi Ibe. I don't think anybody, anybody will argue about his competency and his capacity to run that agency because he has track record to do that. Having been exposed to multinational corporations where I'm sure he must have imbibed some organizational culture that would be favorable to the organization of that uh, NMPC. Uh, well, but when you have other names which you know and I know that is nothing short of political patronage uh, under the disguise of uh, change, it's but, uh, but, nothing but your change in Nigerians, uh, my friend. But the thing is, I mean, the president, I think I've heard him also say in different fora that he understands the magnitude of work that needs to be done. So having gotten the mandate from Nigerians, don't you think that, yes, he does know that, look, there's a lot of expectation waiting. So if he chooses these men and women who he thinks can deliver, why do we have to begrudge him on that? Uh, but, but, you know, when you have uh, somebody who has run for, when you have somebody who has run for president four times, I will even expect that it takes a lot to run for a political office. Consultation, buying your form, campaign, nomination, and then running for the actual election. In this whole process, you should be setting your mind, getting your mind set in the process of who is going to run for this administration if you win. So this, all this shows us is that APC was not ready for governance. Uh, and of course, the unexpected victory that they have, the time that is taking them to get their government together, all it's showing is that the, the, the victory was unexpected. But so, Colette, I mean, uh, you politicians always tell us that, look, it's one, two separate things, being on the outside and being inside. They're completely different things. So can you then say that, yeah, even if it's run for four times, he should know what it entails because he's not been inside, except now that he's been elected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm telling you is that when you occupy the people's house, you don't have the luxury of time. Nigerians need the dividend of democracy now. And you know, maybe we Africans should learn something from this on the continuity of government. You don't win an election and drive everybody that was part of the administration, the past administration away. There are some good that you must have taken or that you can take out of the previous administration. So you have a gradual transition of your administration, of the old administration into the new administration. But when you have, when you win an election and, you know, out of personal vendettas of uh, uh, various folks around you, and you drive everybody who are equally Nigerians, you drive them away from office without allowing them to gradually help you transit into your seat, what you see is that the government stops and the people's business stops. So what we need to understand is that when you're in that villa, when you are in the villa, that is the people's house, and that every day your, the cost of maintaining your daily life, is being, the bill is being fooled by Nigerians. So there is no amount of expectation that Nigerians will have that will be, overly, uh, will be over expectation because it was a voluntary, it's a voluntary exercise that you voluntarily opted for. So, and it comes with a lot of responsibility. With authority comes with a lot of responsibility. And Nigerians cannot wait. So the dividend of democracy cannot wait. Uh, that is what I'm saying.